if there's nothing else that you guys get out of this video, I want you to absorb how to test an oxygen sensor for accuracy. Can we drive it rich? Can we drive it lean? Does it go both directions fully? The best way to do that is XL enrichment, so a wide open throttle run, in, in first gear, and then a deceleration event where your RPMs are high. If your RPMs are high and you're decelerating the injector shut off, there's your full lean condition. So there, there is no need to go under the hood, add propane, make vacuum leaks. This is all stuff I have written in my book too. Those methods are acceptable, but this is much more accurate. All right, I'm wide open right now. Okay. It looks like they went full rich there, but I need I need to confirm that. Um, you guys can watch the decel event right now. Full lean, both banks, zero millivolts. So they're both reacting. That's your test right there for numerous reasons that you can do that. One of them is going to be if you're dealing with a wide band oxygen sensor where it's range and how it reports on the scan tool is not something you're used to. Take it for a drive, go wide open throttle, see what your rich side is and then decel event where your RPMs are high, injectors cut, see what your lean side is, and there's your min-max range. And you can use that even on an unfamiliar reporting wideband sensor. You can use it on an oxygen sensor like we are right here.